Sarutocles awoke upon a stone floor. He tried to rub the sleep from his eyes and get a better sense of his surroundings. Being a demigod of the mountains, he had a good feeling that he was inside of a cave. The walls were reddish-orange with specks of yellow scattered about. They were adorned with chalk drawings of what might be considered monsters. The sound and chill of the wind could be heard and felt coming from the opposite side of the cave where daylight began to seep in. How did I end up here? As if answering him, his memories began to flood back. In his battle against Tsukisune, a half-lunar demigoddess, a giant kaiju snake spat venom at him, which slowed down his movements. The snake then went in to devour Sarutocles, as though he were a light snack, and then a stone glowed. Oh yeah, I guess I drifted into another dimension. That little fox will be mine if I can manage to return to my dimension. There's no use in staying here. Let's see where I am. Sarutocles left the cave to see that the world he was in was somehow in the Mesozoic era. Dinosaurs roamed the planet that was covered in snow and ice. From where he stood, he could spot primitives trying to score a meal as they attempted to take down a woolly mammoth. Sarutocles' stomach began to grumble. I guess it's time for lunch. Sarutocles went down the side of the mountain from where the opening of the cave was and joined the battle. With his mighty sword Ascalon, Sarutocles managed to defeat the mammoth in no time. The primitives watched as they were weary of the man wearing odd clothing. As Sarutocles stood there being carefully watched by the primitives, he started to feel the blistering cold and he began shivering. The primitives seeing the demigod who defeated the great beast down on the ground decided to take him to their village hidden deep within their surrounding forest. To keep Sarutocles warm, he was given some of the fur from the defeated mammoth and was laid by the fire. Sarutocles stayed with the primitives for two months afterwards so he could recover and train. He trained and honed the power of the cosmic riftstone and managed to imbue his earth powers with cosmic energy. He was seen as a god among the primitives as they watched him take out the mighty dinosaurs one after the other. Sarutocles could have been happy living a simple life among the primitives, but his thirst for a fight with mighty opponents was too strong for him to resist. Sarutocles then began a six-month journey hopping between dimensions. He entered a world overrun by nature, a world where a monkey had four arms and bat wings. He entered a world where a man was able to transform himself to some sort of alien species. He entered a world where everyone was in a craze about a video game tournament. He entered a world that had devils raising demon armies. But the most impressive world he found was one that had ferocious beasts and dragons. Sirithicles fought and fought and overcame every opponent who dared stand in his way. He became stronger than he had ever been and developed new fighting techniques that made perfect use of the demigod abilities in combination with the power of the green riftstone. His latest dimension hop brought him to an unexpected world. In a tavern, in a city, sitting at a bar, was someone who looked very familiar. As he approached the man drinking his beverage, Sarutocles realized who the man was. It was Nervoid.